Okay, I retrieve this uh, function generator from the trash. It is a uh, Philips PM5133S, that is a function generator in the range 10 millihertz up to 2 megahertz. It seems it uh, doesn't work. Even if uh, I press the on off button, it is switched on. But if I connect uh, an uh, BNC output cable to an oscilloscope. This is the output. So the output uh, is sticked to zero. It seems that uh, the uh, generator doesn't work. In fact, if I use uh, select the frequency range and I select the amplitude. It seems that it is working, but no output at the exit. So let's start with the teardown. Okay, I open down the box, uh, the 5133, and discover a beautiful uh, instrument. Then I found in the internet the manual of the PM. This is an old manual, but is very well done by Philips. And in fact, uh, we can find all the information we need. So jump directly to the electric uh, diagram. My first suspect goes to the output stage of the power amplifier. So this is the scheme. We see that it is the power part, the attenuator. Then there is a selector in order to select the output load of 600 uh, ohms or 50 ohms. By simply moving this board, that is the front panel board, the instrument goes working again. In fact, we are generating at 20 Hz. If I switch the frequency mode, I can have this. It might be a false contact. In fact, by pressing in and out the power on, sometimes the output goes high, sometimes the output goes to zero. This time the instrument works. Okay. This time not. So I suspect some bad soldering inside. I have to discover which part of the circuit has to be uh, resoldered again. Another important suspect is if I move the board, this one, sometimes the power is going down. So maybe the cabling is wrong. By looking at the bottom of this uh, display board, I discovered that connections are made directly by soldering, without connectors. So my first task is to pass again with the solder iron all the connections in order to be sure that uh, there will be strong contact. Okay, I check all the power output page by looking if the output transistors power are good by looking the bias of the collector to emitter voltage and the base to emitter voltage and I found that the output is disconnected. This little wire, this one, goes to the front panel and is disconnected from the output that is the terminal 48. So I will uh, solder it now again and see if it is working. I put uh, two wires in order to catch the input at the power amplifier and uh, it refers to the oscilloscope. When I change the amplitude knob, the amplitude change. So the DC part is OK. Now the problem is to find the reason 